Hi students, now let us see how the spectral lines, number of spectral lines formed in each and every series when electron jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit is going to be calculated now. Let us see how the, how many spectral lines are formed in each series when electron jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit. Let us say students, electron is jumping from, electron is jumping from 6th orbit to 6th orbit to 1st orbit n2 is 6, n1 is 1. Now let us see how many spectral lines are formed in each and every series. Now students, what happens? The number of spectral lines formed is equal to sigma n2 minus n1, sigma n2 minus n1. Sigma n2 is how much higher orbit number? Sigma n1 is the lower orbit number. That means sigma n2 is 6, sigma n1 is, uh, n1 is 1. Therefore, this is sigma 5, sigma 5. Sigma 5 means what students? It is a summating. That means 5 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 1. 5 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 1. Now students, how many spectral lines are formed in each series means 5 lines are formed in the Lyman like this. Left to right in hydrogen spectrum what happens? Lyman, Balmer, Passion, Brocket, Fund and Humphrey. In similar fashion from left to right you have to go like that. Lyman, 5 lines. Balmer, 4 lines. And 3 Passion series. 3 is the Passion series. 2 is the Brocket series. And 1 is the Fund series. 1 is the Fund series. So, when electron jumps from 6th orbit to 1st orbit, the number of spectral lines formed in each series is in Lyman series 5, Balmer series 4 and Passion series 3 and Bracket series 2 and Fund series 1. The total number of spectral lines formed is equal to 15 students. The total number of spectral lines formed is 15, but each and every series 5 lines are formed in the Lyman. 4 lines are formed in the bomber, 3 are formed in the passion and 2 are formed in the bracket and 1 is formed in the fund series. And this is how spectral lines should be calculated in each and every series.